The next question from the WhatsApp. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad living in Kenya. Is it allowed for someone to supplicate in his own language and not Arabic during Salatul Tahajjud? I have given this answer in detail maybe of two years back, the rulings of the different uh, schools of thought. But I'll just give you the one which is more authentic and genuine that as far as supplication is concerned, doing dua in a language other than Arabic, if you don't know Arabic as a language, and if you do dua in your own language, it is permitted in Islam. Whether it's a farad salah, whether it's a nafil salah, whether it's a sunnah salah, or whether it's tajjud salah. So the more correct opinion is that if you don't know Arabic as a language, you can supplicate or do duas in the language you know the best. And whether it's a fard salah or a nafil salah or sunnah salah, including tajjud salah. And the best time to do dua in your salah is during sujood. And the hadith thing about that. In sujood or before you say your salam, before you say taslim, after you finish the tayat, you can do the dua in Arabic or in the language you understand the best. But naturally, if you do the masnoon dua, the dua which are mentioned in the Quran and which is mentioned in the Sahih Hadith, these are chosen words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, chosen words of the Prophet. So they carry a bigger value. Of course, you can do it in your own language in the way, the way you want. But, and we know that one of the most common and general dua is where Allah mentioned in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 201, where Allah says, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasnatau that, O oh Lord, give, O oh Lord, you us the best in this world and in the Akhirah and save us from the torment of hellfire. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasnatau wa fil akhirati hasnatau wa kina azabannar. This dua is a generic dua when it said, Give me the best in this world, it includes health. It includes business, it includes wealth, it includes clothing, everything is a jannah dua. And give me the best in the akhirah, of course, give me jannah, jannah, firdos, etc. And save me from the torment of hellfire. So these words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the words chosen by Allah. So these dua carry high value. So it's preferable you read the masnoon dua, and, but naturally in Arabic. And Muslims know these duas. But if you want a specific thing, like if you're suffering from diabetes and you want to tell us, oh, please cure my diabetes, you can. Whether in English, whether in Urdu, whether in Bengali, any language of your choice. There's no prohibition. So you can, and the best time to do dua is in sujood, in salah. And the best salah where you can do dua is the tahajjud salah. In the last one third of night. Because our beloved Prophet Sallallahu said, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the last one third of the night, one hour, he descends in the lower heaven and asks, is there any servant of mine who wants something and I will answer it. So at this time, therefore it's preferable to pay tahajjud in the last one third of night and in the sujood when you ask, that is the best time of the salah, the best time of the full 24, the last one third of night, in sujood it is the best or before you say the taslim, the salam. You can read in the language, the dua in the language other than Arabic. If you don't understand Arabic, it's permitted. Hope that answers the question.